up, people? Welcome back. So today we're talking one of my favorite vegetables, and that is, of course, <laughs> the cauliflower. You know, the cauliflower is so versatile that you can do almost anything with it from baking to roasting to grilling. I mean, some of everything. And people tend to do some off the wall, but yet delicious things like cauliflower buffalo wings. It's not a real thing. Cauliflower rice, it's not a thing. Then you have cauliflower mac and cheese. Although delicious, it's still not a thing. So what I am going to do is I'm going to elevate this a couple of notches and we're going to do cauliflower puree. It is so silky, so smooth. And do you know what? Instead of me explaining to you the textures, let's just get to it. Come on. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do, we are going to put our cauliflower on our cutting board and we're gonna hold this firmly and cut around the stem of the cauliflower, removing the florets. And once we remove the florets, we place the base, the stem in the bowl, we're gonna cut these into small dice. And the reason we wanna cut these into small dice is because less cooking time. And less cooking time is what? It equals more flavor. Next, we're going to cut half of an onion into a small dice. After we're done cutting the onion into a small dice, we are going to move all of our ingredients into a pot. And we are going to cover with milk. And we're going to cook this for about 10 minutes on high. And be sure to add in some salt, not too much. You can always adjust at the end. Then we are going to drain our cauliflower. Make sure that there is little to no moisture in here because we want this cauliflower to blend well. We're making a puree, not a soup. So be careful of the uh, moisture. And after we drain this, we're gonna add it to our blender. And next step is we're gonna add in some butter, about three tablespoons of cold butter we want this butter cold the reason being you get a nice smooth emulsion when using cold butter some use heavy cream but I definitely suggest cold butter next we are going to strain this through a wire mesh and we're straining this through a wire mesh for one reason to catch any chunks that might have not been blended with the blender now we want to make sure this is smooth. We're making a puree. We're not making mashed potatoes. So make sure that, you know, whatever chunks that are in there, don't let it fall into your bowl. Then we are going to move this to a saucepan to keep it heat, keep it warm. And we're going to taste and adjust for seasoning. And as you can see, oh yeah, that's money. That's money. And now you have a nice puree. You could do this with carrots. You could do this with celery root. I mean, it's endless to the purees that you can do. So have some fun with this. Play along with it. It's yours. Do what you like. So now that we've learned how to do cauliflower puree, you know what? Let's have some fun with this. Pair it with some fish, with beef, with chicken. I mean, you can't go wrong with it, right? Right. So if you enjoyed this video, hey, like it, share it, subscribe to the channel. It's gonna be a lot of cooking going on. And trust me, I want you along for the ride. You want to be on this ride. But until then, I'll see you all later. See ya.